Hello, welcome back. Though it is too late for me to, I didn't record the video earlier as I promised, but I want to say I'm sorry. You're welcome back to my channel. You know, the series of five videos where I say I'm going to teach you how to do the entries. This video is considered the entry confirmation which is the highest probability entry in binary option where you may have 70 to 80 percent win rate i guarantee you 70 to 80 percent win rate i'm going to teach you the engulfings and then the inside bar patterns the consolidate the what the engulfing which is the highest probability engulfing pattern and then because I know majority of you know, know how to trade the engulfing, which is the highest probability engulfing pattern and which is the highest probability inside by entry pattern. I'm going to demonstrate it here, but here let me start with the pattern, drawing the pattern now. Please pay attention to this. I'm going to use this drawing bar do the demonstration for the bullish one you want to see an engulfing bullish bar when we see an engulfing bullish bar what we want to see is that we want to see a bearish candle with a decent body like this not a small body but with a decent body like this followed by a bullish rejection candle Sorry. Followed by it, a bullish rejection candle. Remember that the high of this candle, this is the inside, but this one did not take out the high of this candle. Then we have a bearish candle with a decent body like this. Then followed by this candle, rejection candle. The next candle is 70% to 80%. It's going to go up. This is the first confirmation pattern. I'm going to teach you this one. And then the second one that I'm going to teach you is the engulfing pattern. You can reverse it for the bearish one. For the bearish one also, we want to see. Let me just do it for you guys. This thing is not responding. You know what's happening to the pullover? What is happening to the pullover? Okay. So the bearish one, we want to see a long body bearish candle, followed by a bullish descent body, then a rejection candle. This rejection candle can either be a bullish or a bearish one with a rejection candle. I mean a rejection, we need to see a week, at least three to three, two to three times of the body. Then the next candle is going to dispense more. This is for the bearish one. So I want to give you all the confirmation pattern. Then you can go to the chart and check them. Then we also want I want to always want to show you also. I also want to show you also what my, what is happening to me. Whatever I'm picking this one, so I'm picking, I don't know what's happening. It is the network. So the bullish engulfing pattern, we want to see a bearish kind of form like this. And then followed by it, a bullish kind of like this. We want to see the close is very, very, very the close of this candle is just some pips above the body, the opening. This is the opening of the bearish candle. Or we may see the body close below, it close above the, this, this open, but it did not close above the week. So it's high probability that the next candle is going to open and reject on the opening of this candle and expand higher. So that is what I mean. So we don't want to see an engulfing like this. Not an engulfing like this. So with this piece, 
the market need to, when you have this type of, you need to wait for the market to give you a richest candle. When it give you a richest candle, what you need to do is wait for the market to open. When the first candle open a week below this candle and start when rejecting like this, then you can enter for a buy. That is what I mean for a buy. So, but if the the base one is something like this, followed by a bullish candle. At least taking out the low of this candle and then closing very close to the opening of this. So it's going to be, there will not be chance for the market to come down and form a bearish candle again. So this space, the, the distance between the, the opening of the bearish candle and the close of the bullish candle, there's no enough chance for the market to up, create another candle there. That is the essence. I think I have these are one of the base entry pattern. You may, not, you may even use this one without the bias where I teach you the first one. Remember, this market is too clean. This one, you can see the market is trending. It's very clean market. I got this one. This one is not open. What happened? So, this market is too clean. I don't know whether I can let the OTC market as close. Okay, now let me watch out. Let me give you the instance in this market. Going back in price. Okay, you can see what I said the other one. So you can see that this one, the space between this up, this one might even give some space. I don't like it. I don't want to see space. The space between this one, but you can see the week. Remember, I also give you the one with the scenario with the week. So the market is very close. I, I like the one that will be at least close to the op opening of this bearish candle, or even close below the week of this candle. So let me see whether I can have one. My best in golfing. Let's see that. Okay, nice one. Okay, sales city normally doesn't provide to produce, but we don't want to see a candle that would displace so much away from it, like this one. <clears throat> this is the one that I cannot trade. And engulfing like this one also. Not this one. This one is good because we close below the week. Remember, I said when we close below the week, it is high probability. So I think this is what I'm looking for. In order to say like this one also, we close below the week. We sweep the high and we close below the week. So it's more likely it's going to go up. This is the engulfing pattern I'm talking about. And then let's see another engulfing pattern. Let me see more of it. I'm going to give you a scenario. Nice one also. We, you can see that when we are we, we, we sweep the low and then we close not above the week, you can see the next candle. Almost all of them are going, I think it is this one. Since then, this is the only one that doesn't work. So we want to see that one from in the direction of where we are trading. You can see the one I'm talking about. This is the perfect one. So you can see that this one and this one, you cannot even differentiate between the opening and the close of the engulf. And you can see that we have what we have a backside rally. So this is just a significant of an end of the pullback in the market is going to rally easily. So I'm looking for another one. You can see that this one did not weak, and this is a marabou. So this one did not weak above the candle, and then you can see already we have a down push. So we like to see a, an up push, which is going to be provided by the signal I showed you. So let's see from the present market. I don't know what is happening here. Let's see. Okay. Let me see whether we may have. Okay. The other pattern, the inside bar pattern. Let me see whether I can have it on this market. So the inside bar pattern, we are looking for a market. We're looking for a bearish candle. Let me see whether I can have the bearish one. So this one is how I want the pattern to come, but this, this is no pattern here. We have a long bullish candle, 
followed by a decent candle with a decent body. Then the next candle should weak and provides a rejection. So we don't want to see this one taking out the high before. So let's see whether we may have any of. Okay, you can see one here. Though this one did not work, but this is what I want to see. We want to see a bullish candle like this. A bearish, this is for the bearish one. We want to see a bearish. The bullish candle did not take out the low of this one. And then followed by a rejection candle. You can see that this one is what I'm talking about. But look at it here. We have a long bullish candle followed by a decent candle without taking the You can see when we have this rejection, this one works. So you see, when you follow this one, this one is this one gives you what we are talking about. So same here, but in this case, you want to see the, this one to be the bullish candle. So even though this one, after this one, it works, but we want to see a decent one, a very decent pattern. So this is what I want to see. Let me give you another example. I don't want this video to be very long because I want to trade in the live market so that you can see. You can see for yourself. Not just that. You just be talking, talking, talking. Okay. Let me see whether we may have any. This one, the market is closed. And let me see whether I can see the market that I open. <coughs> One, please. I don't want this thing to take so much of our time. This is why I'm opening some in the market because normally when I'm trading, I don't open some in the market. I choose the one that has all the. I'm just trying to trade with the confirmation candle, not just. Going back because the next video is where I'm going to combine them all today. Just the confirmation. Imagine just trading the confirmation candle without even going to look for because some people are too lazy, they don't want to follow rules. But the rules are very, very significant for your success in trading. And I've already given you the rule for finding your bias, finding where your direction you can trade. But today I'm going to show you how you can improvise and get your position just looking for the confirmation candle. I'm starting. I don't know which one I'm going to see first. So I will just be checking the market. You can see the engulfing just happened here. So let me, how many pairs are here? One, two, three, four, five, six. So I'm looking for the one that has six common things. <coughs> so this is where I'll be watching the market so that you never miss setup. So when I see the setup, I'm going to open the market so that we trade together. You can see how I'm talking about how these things do work. So I'm expecting the inside bar pattern on GBP cards. On GBP cut, I'm expecting the is this is GBP cut. I'm expecting the inside bar pattern because we already have a long body bullish candle. We have this one forming an inside bar. So when we have a rejection candle in the direction of the market. We are going to participate. So here, here, there's nothing. These ones have already taken out the low, so it's not an inside bar. Let's work. Wait, maybe this one will give us an engulfing. <coughs> okay, it gave us an engulfing. So let's go. This is the engulfing. I think this is the engulfing I'm talking about. So this is the engulfing. So you can see that the engulfing. This is the engulfing. I'm gonna take like. Three trades or four trades, whichever I see. So I have the engulfing there, the perfect engulfing. Also, I'm 
expecting the engulfing bond. GBP USD give us the base engulfing that I'm talking about. The one you will likely see happen and give you the base trade setup. So this is the engulfing I'm talking about. This one has disqualified our pattern because it doesn't offer us what we are looking for. And also this one also is, okay, this one expand so much. So because it is it closing far away from the, so you can see that GBP USD, you can see what I mean. So when you have the engulfing that close, very close to this one, you can see the probability of you winning the trade is very high. You can see how it closes. It closes very close to the opening of this candle after taking out this low. We are rejecting. So this is a significant rejection. So this is what I mean. This one also is a rejection. Okay, I saw, now I have the rejection. Oh my God. Oh, my entry was very late. I saw that this one closed very far from the, from the body. That is why I was so careless about taking it about taking it so let me see uh, let me see the one i'm talking about <laughs> okay this one has, has, has <clears throat> hasn't given us what we want to see let's check let's check you can see that this one was indeed a perfect one i think we have the bearish one also sorry we have the bearish one also it's closing very close to the body so this is what we want to see i think this one i made mistake on this one so you can see this one is the one i say you may have the riches of you may have the riches because when it's closing very far from the opening you most likely going to have the riches before the market is going to close you can see it's now closing bearish so this is how it is but when it is very close like this with the opening of this so it doesn't have opportunity there's no space for it to create to create the bearish to create a bullish candle kind of first okay i think engulfing has given us let's wait for the other pattern i think i have tried two of the engulfing pattern looking for the inside bar pattern now i'm looking for the inside bar pattern now. so this one you can see what i said so we may have the retest and this is also the inside bar pattern sorry why is it the inside bar pattern because this is the bearish the bullish the bearish down close and this is the bullish one did not take out the low and then we have the rejection candle. So we expect this one to go down to close as a bearish candle. <clears throat> they would like to see it on a momentum trend. But let me just give you that one a shot. I like, I like, see my problem with binary option. When you're trading, you need to be very careful with your entries. So we can see also what it closes bearish, but because of our entry, this is why we cannot get it, we didn't get it. So that is our problem with binary option. We in trading the Forex market, we don't have this shadow so much. So I like to see this one also weak because this one could not take out the low. I like this one to weak and close as a rejection candle so that we have the second uh, inside bar trading pattern. So when it close bearish, we're gonna give a shot again so that we complete our session. I don't want this video to be very long. I've given you the patterns. Okay, this one is closing very far. I don't like the closing, but it's closing very far out. So we give this place so much away from where we want to enter the market. So I don't know why this one, okay. So this is, this is, this is, this is what is happening in the market. The market is rejecting at a significant point in the market. So let me give you another example. I think I have given you one example of the inside bar pattern, two example of the engulfing pattern. So uh, let's check for the inside bar pattern. 
that one did not work not just because the pattern has already formed because we, normally when i see pattern i take trade once <laughs> you can see the market is consolidating you can see this in this area that's why i say when i see when i told you when you see market is providing up and we see weeks from both sides of the market it's a very bad market in that case we need to leave this market and wait for it to produce another good engulfing pattern example another one so let's wait for let's wait for let's wait for the inside bar the inside bar are not many in the market let's wait for the inside bar pattern I think Let's wait for the inside bar pattern. Let's see. Let's wait for the inside bar pattern. The engulfing pattern is working so much good. It has the highest probability. It has the highest probability. The inside bar also is high, the highest probability, but they are not many in the market. So you can see that this one also. It was what you can see three of the engulfing pattern gave us what a successful a successful trade three of them all of them are successful so but the inside bar i'm waiting for i'm waiting for the inside bar pattern it gives us one good perfect one but the market is not producing let's see whether we may have it here when i see a rejection from this going down as a bearish candle so we're going to portray because we have a bullish, bearish down close. We have a, a candle, a bullish one, but I like a design body. Like I said, a design body, that one is a small body. <laughs> the rules are very, very significant. Okay, let's this one close as a, a design body candle. Nice one. So when this one close as a, like this, then we have a rejection candle against it, then it's going to be a very good one, but this one, nice one, I like it to close, nice one, good. So we like to see, like to see a rejection kind of closing back into the body of this one. But the gap also is showing us something, telling us that the bearish momentum is very high. I'll teach you also how to trade the, the gap. But let's see if this one will close back into this range, then it's going to give us a good, it's just like a rejection. Buy, sell, that is just a week down and then up. So when this one is closing back into this body like this, around this level, I'm going to put a buy. That is the same thing as just a rejection candle. But when it closes below this open, then it's not a good trade. We like to close above. It has to close like where this where my cursor is now. It has to close there. So when it closed there, it's going to be a good trade. Nice one. Not that nice, but it is good. So it's going to be just like when, like I told you, this one here, from here to here will be a week. So closing back into the body, just telling us it's a rejection kind. So basically, that is what we want to, that is what I want to see, I want to say. So when it is here, the gap down is like candle opening, going low and rejecting, closing higher. So we like when you want to trade this pattern, you need to see that the candle close back into the body. You can see how 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 is explosive this candle was. This is what we want to see with the inside bar rejection pattern. That is how we want to see what we want to see. I like it that way. Normally, it's going to be an explosive, explosive price action. So you can see that this is one of, you can see two, I've traded two of the inside bar rejection. Two of them are successful also. Though the one, the first one we took was from what? The entry, the entry was, the entry was not correct because I took it a very light entry. Let's see whether we may have another one. We'll let this one close as a December body candle. Also, 
then when we have this one this will be going to be the last trick i'm going to take then i don't want this video to be long just what i want you to do is just go back to your chat and do the same thing i'm doing here you will see that your win rate is going to skyrocket skyrocket like this candle that is closing like this i want it to close a very we want to see with a good body or just this a good calm down a little just with the body is okay the body is okay nice one we are closing so we need to see a rejection candle also okay when we see a rejection candle closing back into the body is enough for us because this one did not take out the high we already have a bullish move so i don't want this one to close up to the high closing inside the body of this candle is enough for us so this is going to end the session actually if it closes as a bullish candle while well, i check all the chart to see whether something is forming there so let's see let's see let's see nothing is forming it's just here we only have this one so let's watch it closely and then close at least don't close above the high close below and then we can give it a shot again we like to see it taken out the low of this candle oh my god i don't want it to go above this is what we don't want to see that's what we don't want to see that's we like it to see the low of this candle. So this one has invalidated what I want to see. Because you need to have the rules. Rules in trading they are very, very important. Like this one also. When we see a rejection candle, go up, reject and cross bearish also with it. Because you have the body, the long body candle, you have the bullish rally. So when this one close down like this, below the opening of this candle is going to be also a short is something like an, all these two candles are an inside but what we did the rejection for sale so let's wait and see also this one will it close as a bearish candle we don't know let's wait and see closing as a rejection candle okay long week from the top nice one let's see good i like it so it's gonna be a bearish candle this is the turn for bearish bears to enter the market Ash, ash, ish, 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 ish. Let me just take it here and wait. But I like to see it closing below the opening. I like to see it closing below the opening. That's why you can see these bullish bulls are entering the market because the momentum is still bullish. I like to see it closing below the opening of this candle. But it is chance, this chance is for the bears to enter the market. It is their turn to enter the market. It is their turn to enter the market. So let's watch the market closely to see what is going to happen again. I don't, I don't like the way the market is moving here. I like the BS to enter. It's their chance to enter the market. So you can see that how perfect these things are. Okay, you can see these trades are giving you less stress. Majority of my trade, you can see the candles are open with long body candle, giving you less stress. You can see that this is the opportunity to enter. I think they can enter again. So let's give them, but this was their best opportunity to enter. But here, this is a confirmation that they are going to enter. This one is going to be a long body candle also. So this is the end of the session, my brothers and sisters. So I think. This is the end of the session. I don't want to take a very long. We can see this one also is a good one. This candle with a decent body, rejection candle. So you can see that we don't want to see the candle closing back to the high of this one. So given us the opportunity for this one to be a long candle. But when this one close close to the high, this one is going to have, this one will not have a range to trade to. And this is why we want to see this one rejecting and closing back into. You know why this one doesn't work okay my entry you can see that's what i say that is our issue with binary option your entry is very very important when you miss the entry you didn't get the entry right you can see that you're going to suffer so i think with this i have come to the end of this session for today and the next video is going to be on the 
two second entry pattern. But this, these two are the base of the base. You can see it here also. It is the one I took. And then, where is the other one? This one. Let's see this. Negative. Given us opportunity for them to enter. And also, this one also is a good example also. With a bull, this is a bullish run. With this one candle, they say one candle cannot stop the bullish momentum, but you need to see where it's forming, how it's forming also. It's another thing. You see, and also this one, you can see this one stop the bearish momentum. Why? Because it is forming where it's supposed not to form. So not all cannot stop the bullish momentum, but you need to see what the market is printing. This one, remember I just all this trade without even using the confirmation. Assuming we are taking the confirmation, you can see that this, this thing is going to skyrocket. You can see the inside bar pattern. Okay, seeing this one from here, we want to concentrate on only taking buys from this from this hour. Looking for only buys. Assuming this one close also. This is also the inside bar pattern. If this one will close above, I like it to close above the opening. When it closing above the opening, it's a sign of momentum or closing back into the body of this one is the base momentum. Now, assuming we are only looking for buys after the close, after the open, when this candle open, what we are looking for, we are looking for only buys. Assuming, so let's go to our one minute something. What are you looking for confirmation to buy the market? Remember, even if you can close your eyes and enter this market, you can see that the buys are so are so significant. Taking only rejection candles, you can see buys. You can see how the buys are from buys until the other one. Let me let me let me let me go back to the hourly candle. So this is how trading in the direction of the market is going to operate. Until, until this until this level. Assuming we any anytime you see just a bullish candle, you enter the market. Anytime you see the bullish candle, you enter the market before the bullish you can see also this breakup structure. So anytime you see bullish candle, the bearish bullish, like I told you the other day. After bearish, you so bullish, you enter Baba. Just one trade, okay. First step compounding. You see bearish, you see bullish, second step compounding. You see bearish, you see bullish, you can see the engulfing. Even though it doesn't close as a bullish candle, but you can see it is closing what away from the end. You can get the entry right, it's gonna see also engulfing. So leave bearish, 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 bullish. You can see. Imagine you lose this one, okay. You start again after the bullish candle, you make your entry. First step, second step, third step, and then you are done. That is normally three steps compounding. So you can see a three step compounding working perfectly. Even here, you can see taking after you see a bullish candle, taking after you see a bullish candle until you started seeing somewhat. So change in trend. So let's get another example also. Let's pick another chart. And then going back to the hourly time frame, repeating the same premise. The problem you're losing is because you're trading against the higher time frame. You're trading against the higher time frame, it's more likely that you're going to lose. Here, I can't see, can't see anything decent like the way I teach you. So I'm only looking for what I have teach you in the previous class. We're just taking a recap of what we teach on this previous class. Also here you can see that unless this level you can see the this pattern here. Drop the rally, then rejection. So you can you see this one. The next thing is we are going into this hour looking for only sell. As you know, we are only looking for the down close, then we we put in our money there. Okay, let's start. Let's start now. We saw this is where the bullish, the bullish 
This is where the where the where does the hour start it? Okay, this is it. This is it. I think this is the twenty twenty, right? So the market starts by rally. After we saw this rejection, we enter. Boom. First sell, first sell. It was a successful one. Here you can see the market is retesting and engulfing. So you cannot sell on this market because we are retesting and engulfing. We wait for the market to rally, give us a signal sell, sell signal. You enter. Assuming you're just entering after this, pick one pattern and then you'll be entering. Now. Not even waiting for the pattern I show you, just entering when you see a sign of bearishness in the market. This is a sign of bearishness. You see the three step component is already successful. The first one is this. You saw this, you enter. You saw this, you enter. You saw this, you enter. Okay, now you are done. Because where is nine? This is where the second. So with this, just one, two, three. These are 15 minutes, I think. These cells are 15 minutes here. Let me see. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, forty two. So this, this, this uh grid, these grids are 15, 15 minutes. So say okay, I'm gonna take only one trade in each 15 minutes open. Okay, only one trade. See after 15, 15 minutes. Okay, this is the first 15 minutes. You enter boom. You look for a good signal, you enter. Wait for another 15 minutes to provide a signal, you enter. And then this one also. You're waiting for the 15 minutes to create a signal here also. You enter, you're looking for a buy. This is a buy, then a sell. You enter. This is the last 15 minutes. You're waiting for a buy because here there was not a buy. The market opened and dropped. You wait for a buy. This is the buy. With the rejection, you enter, and then you are done. All what you want to do is as the 15 minute candle open, you wait for a buy. That is the week of the candle. So when the market is buying, is creating a week in the 15 minute channel. You create a week, you enter. You wait for the next 15 minute to open, you create a week above with the rejection, it's enter. You can see also. Everyone, you can see here, just open without creating the week. Allow it to rally. When it rally, it's going to give you something. So this will tell you that the last 15 minute, second, to the last 15 minute does not have a good week at the top of it, you just a range, it closes a range candle. So this is what we call the candle signs. When we see candles on the lower time frame, it's going to tell us what is going to be. You can see what I mean. You can see. You can see there's no week on it. Or see this one. See the first one. Even though it's a bullish candle, but you can see it open goes up, even also giving us a week above itself. This one also open go up, give us a week. This one also this. It's a nice candle there. So this is actually how you can see the candles on the lower time frame and see what they are in them. So you can see it opens here. Where is the last 15 minutes that I was talking about? Where is it? This one. It opens and then drop. Drop, 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 drop. So that's it. I think I enter into another time. So basically, let me not spend much of your time. This video is too long that I have not expected it to be long. If you like this video, please, you may subscribe to the, our channel also. If you have any question, you may ask actually. We are ready to answer your question. We are ready to respond to you. We are always available. And you can contact us also on our WhatsApp number under the description of this video. Thank you very much. Thank you for coming. See you on the next video. Goodbye.